everybody um so i haven't posted a video up in a little while we've just been uh wedding planning and uh you know problems with the coronavirus and, and all that stuff so we've been um ensuring all of us are safe and, and whatnot too i hope everybody out there is safe as well too um so this video is going to be on uh our, the the gear the gear itself and uh as you can see with the picture i have you know from head to toe uh, I was not everything complete, but um, but it's it's a good work in progress, and I'll go through a little bit of the stuff of uh, what I use and and uh, how I how I um, go through its steps, uh, how I use them, and how I uh, put them to the test, if you will. Right. Um, so starting right from the top, right, is a plain simple old hat. Um, I don't have a helmet. I don't have anything along the lines of that. This it is what it is. The hat can come in handy for you know the sun, uh, keeping the, the the heat off your head, um, right? Uh, keeping your hair in control, especially with my hair. Um, and as you can tell, it's a little bit dirty, right? I, I do take it with me paintballing because I do uh, train, if you will, uh, with my paintball gun and uh, with all my gear set up. Um, and that's typically how I put a lot of things through those paces. This is just one of those things I put through those paces. It's come in handy a lot of times for the sun, right, um, heat and whatnot too. That's why it's a little dirty. It's an old hat, so it works. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's always good to have a, a nice, uh, you know, uh, a hat, uh, even a toque for that matter if you really want to have a toque. But as I said, I just have a hat on. It helps. It's really helpful. Um, moving down moving down the, uh, the list, or if you will, is... Um, my noise cancelling headset. This is from uh, Walkers, right? I'm pretty sure you can see that. Walkers. This one is the uh, Combat BT um, uh, Bluetooth uh, noise cancelling headphones. Um, I'll put in the link in the description below so you guys can check it out as well too. I really do like these um, these uh, noise cancelling headsets uh, or earmuffs, if you will, uh, for a lover of reasons. I use it for a lot of different reasons and ways. Uh, one, I go to the range with it, right? And the um, noise cancelling headset headset um, goes off in in matter of like milliseconds. It's really quick. Um, it also has a microphone, um, not a microphone, but like a um, what's it called? It amplifies noise as well too. So you can hear right noise coming in that's at a certain decibel. And once the decibel reaches a certain num a certain decibel number clicks into the um to the noise canceling it uh completely so it's really nifty actually because i i tested out even at home too and i put them on and i heard you know my fiance talking with with her daughter in the next room um not clearly but i was i was able to make out a lot of things so they're actually really good i really like them uh as i said um they have volume control here right the bluetooth button right here so i connect it to my my phone um and I have a drum set here as well too. So when when I'm when I'm playing drums, I put this on my obviously on my ears, and I Bluetooth to my phone, and I get kind of drum tabs, so I'm able to play along with it. So there's more than one use to we used to these. Um, as I said, these ones are actually really good. You can find them on Walker's Tactical uh, Tactical Walker's uh, website. I think they're about 130 bucks. Uh, we picked them up uh, for that price. Um, as I said, they're really good, really good investment. Uh, take them for a long, um, a wide variety of, of things. As I said, I use them for, for drumming. I also use them for the range. Um, you know, when, when shit hits the fan, these are one of the good things. And one of the best things you can have is with you. Um, they take, if I'm not mistaken here, they take triple A's. So the battery compartment is right here. Let's just see if I can snuggle this up. Yeah. So two AAA batteries that go in here, right? So you just the lid goes right there. It's it's super concealable, right? Super easy to 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 put in, take out, right? And um, very easy to use. Um, yeah, there's nothing really else to it. I'll put a link in the description below, right? Walkers, Razer, Combat BTs, Bluetooth noise canceling headphones, really good to have. Uh, I like these a lot. Um, I have no complaints with them. They've worked flawlessly. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, moving on. Next is my eye protection. Uh, these are my eye protection for um, the range or for anything if you go out uh, into, you know, whatever scenario you want to get into, right? Always good to have a good set of eye protection. Something kind of slams into your face. You don't want to poke in your eye. These are just Porter and Cable. Um, you can get these at any hardware store. Good set, reliable um safety glasses always recommend to have them uh, as i said even if you go to the range i think they require them if you go to the range really but good safety glasses always good to have next uh, moving down the list a little bit this is a uh, shamog or a kifa i'm not mis if i'm not mistaken if i'm butchering it i'm sorry but this one actually my brother got for me uh when he was um taking a tour through pakistan and um, so you won't get these here, but I'm pretty sure you can find something along, um, along, along the lines of this. This one's really large, like it's super large. It's it's larger than any regular shamog you would find here, or any of the uh, new shamogs, if you will. These ones are more um, for um, what they use as a concealer. So I'll I'll put a I'll put a picture uh, in a little. In, in, in the video as well too, to kind of show you what I mean by concealer. So it kind of conceals your your body. Um, it, as I said, it's very long. It's folded four or five times here. So as you can tell, right? And there's a number of different configurations you can use with them, right? Um, this one is um, my paintball one, if you will. So I put it through the steps to see if I'm, I'm able to manage. And even in, in those types of scenario games, because I play MagFit Paintball, I use I put these through the, its steps. And it's helped me a lot when when going into dark dark rooms. I want to conceal my body. I want to hide in a corner. Um, even amongst the shadows, I drape this over my head and let the rest drape down my shoulders and in front and behind me. And I'll, I'll, I'll easily blend into to the shadows as i said i'll put a i'll put a picture in the um in the uh in the video and, and i'll show you that as well too oh yes i almost forgot as well too even if you're not using it for that this could come in handy as a blanket it is that large um you can use it as a blanket double up even use it as a pillow like this is just kind of scrunched up and look how look at the profile it's very plush if you will so it, it can come in, in, in a lot of different handy uh, handy ways, variety or whatever you want to call it. Um, use it. Even if you have to tear it to use it for something, you definitely can. The the the, the uses are almost limitless, limitless with this. Uh, so it's always good to have them. Even if, even if it's in your buckle bag, you don't want to carry it because it does get a little bit um, drapey, if you will, if you're just kind of walking around with it. It does insulate very well it is a hundred percent wool if I'm not mistaken All right Pashmin, pashmina wool right as I said this came from Pakistan itself so it you won't find this specific one obviously but I can definitely look for one online and, and put a link in the description below and uh, you can check something like that out if you don't like the regular shamogs but remember this is very large this could cover a table as a cloth so but it's always good to have right even your bug or bag or if you use it as a shamog or, or whatever the case may be so moving down the list or down the down the body really i think the next thing just just low just south of that is my walkie talkie um i was talking um i think a little bit on my bug out bag uh, about walkie-talkies and things that are electronic and have batteries for it. So this is one of those things that require batteries. I don't keep um, the batteries inside because I don't want it to rot or like explode in there. So I keep the batteries out and uh, and, and I ensure that they won't accidentally turn on and eat the batteries and 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 burn it, if you will. But uh, a good a good set of radios. This is a Cobra radio. Uh, they make good products. I don't know if they still have these. Um, for sale or if they're available or whatnot, but I still get a wide range of, of, uh, of channels 
right? I even got the, the emergency weather channel and like a lot of things. So you just got to make sure that you have one that fits your needs. I take this with, once again, I put it through its paces. I take this through uh, to paintballing as well too. And it's helped a great deal um, for, for talking to teammates or rendezvousing or anything like that, right? Um, I think that helps me out determine what I want and what I don't want on my gear, right? Um, if something works while I'm putting it through its paces, then then it's it's great. And I feel that um, being in a big scenario and paintballing, right, and uh, having being a prepper and and and, and being uh, an avid um, shooter, going out to play is one of those things where uh, you can put a lot of things through its paces, right? Rain, shine, cold, um, and and it'll it'll you know either fail or be great. Everything here is because it everything's here, and I'm I'm showing you because it's worked great so far that I've known of that I know of. So um, a good walkie-talkie, a set of them, you know, for you or your loved one or whatever the case may be, is always good to invest. Um, just make sure you get one that um, that has a far um, radio signal that you can reach. Just in case, you know, the parties are uh, scattered, you know, from one, just say, for example, in whatever your scenario may be in one side of the city to the other, you could still talk and rendezvous at a safe location with 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 a walkie talkie. So the next going down the list is the plate carrier. Um, this one I got a long time ago. I don't remember if it's Condor. I'm pretty sure it is Condor um uh, plate carrier um yeah a plate carrier is very important uh i put these once again i put th this through this through its steps uh with paintballing as you see there's a little bit of paint over there uh this is the marker i use for for paintballing um i could do a bit different video on that marker but um the plate carrier right now i have foam inside right to simulate you know a plate in there um, you want to make sure that the plate carrier can carry plates or like real plates. Uh, I still have to acquire my plates. Um, I'm not sure where or which company I should go for or with. Um, I'm thinking, you know, the AR500, but I'm going to probably have to go to the States for that. As in Canada, I don't believe you can get them. But uh, that's that'll be a different video for a different day. Um, but yeah, so you want to make sure that you have a good solid uh, chest rig that will be able to carry plates. If this one has, I put it through its paces. This is really good. I really like it front and back. I don't have uh, my name tag here on the back or any type anything of that. I'm gonna get one custom made uh, one of these days. Um, the only one thing downside about this rig. Um, is the fact that there's no actual side protection. Uh, it's just open to your, your flank is just open and always exposed. Um, soon I'll, I'll probably uh, upgrade it with a side protection, with actual side protections, uh, and just probably run this one just for paintballing and the other one for actual uh, shit hits the fan scenarios or anything like anything along the lines of that for training going to the range anything like that um, But so far this one is, is worked flawlessly. You could tell in the picture that I had my radio there um, I don't carry anything on the vest per se um, I Have uh, something else for that um, But as for the vest as I said as I can't remember if it's a condor. I'm pretty sure it's a condor plate There's no markings on it um, but Condor makes pretty good stuff, um, as you could tell. Um, I've had this for a long time, and it's worked flawlessly. Um, pretty comfortable to use, pretty comfortable to wear. Uh, very adjustable, right on its sides. Right, it's got the uh, extra, as you can tell, it's wound over here. Extra, extra pull or length or whatever you want to call it, and it's adjustable on the top here. Um, yeah, so that's the plate carrier. Gonna make sure um, you get a good plate carrier for for yourself or for your loved ones if that's what you're aiming to do. Um, but yeah, a good a, a good plate carrier is good.
Next, moving down the list, or down down my body really, is my battle belt. So the battle belt uh, was one of those amazing upgrades I made. Um, I used to have a vest with all my mags and all my attachments and all that stuff, and it really weighed me back and it weighed me down. This lightens up the load for me, and I still can carry everything I want on it, right? I got my admin pouch for paintballing. In this case, I have my tank right here, and it's out of the way. It doesn't bother me, right? I have my dump pouch right over here, and I have my tacos here, my double stack tacos for ARs. Um, once again, I put it through its paces, and nothing here, I would say, have, has failed me. Um, and it's, it's all worked phenomenally. Um, it has molly on the sides, or all around the side. It has molly, so that's where I'm able to, to attach everything. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for um, the, the belt, right? It's a two-piece belt, right? This is... The, the belt itself and then it goes through the holder or the attachment part of it um, I'm not sure if this has any markings on it um, I think it's I can't remember I'll have to double check and I'll I'll put a link in the description below as soon as I as soon as I get that information for you if you're looking for that uh, same thing with the tacos uh, tacos are a very good investment you can pull the tie strings right to open and close and adjust to how you want it. Right now they're relatively large, right? Because I use them for paintball magazines, right? And they work for that. I put them in and I go for a run on the paintball field while uh, while playing and they don't fall out and they're great. Uh, same thing with my dump pouch. I have a couple mags in there. I go for a run and they don't fall out, right? I put it through all its spaces and everything here has worked. So for me, um, when, when, if I do have to go out and shit hits the fan, I will definitely take the, the battle belt uh, with me, slide in my AR mags, and uh, and go, right? As I said, I have an admin pouch right over here. The air tank I could probably do without. It does weigh you down, but it, it, it does hold up for the weight. So for weight purposes, this is, it holds up really great. Uh, as soon as this is gone, if I don't need it, it's one of those things that we're talking about a real scenario here, not paintball scenario. We're talking about a real scenario. This can probably come off and I have more space and a lot lighter to do a lot of different things. Um, but as I said, I'll get you the um, I'll get you the name of the belt and where I got it from. And I'll put it in the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. It's a really great investment. I One of the best investments I believe I've made uh, switching from... Uh, a vest where my mags and my admin pouch were right there right on my chest to a battle belt and uh, and, and I can I can acquire things better right this is the front this would be my left this would be my right right pick up with my left load a magazine or if I dump a magazine in my left pick up one up so I, I have it functionally for me if you're right or left-handed right you decide how you want to do it uh, the the idea is just to show you the setup and, and to see if you want to go along this route. If you don't, that's fine, right? You can add, subtract, and, and, and whatnot. And I think the the biggest thing for me is why I go for a MagFed Paintball. One, because it's a good training exercise, right? It allows you to do the things that you want to practice and hone in on. And I really do take it pretty much to that extent of it. Uh, when I go out there on the field and I and I go and I and I play, uh, I really go for uh, for the tactics of it and, and the stress and how I'm able to f perform and learn from there and and you know have a huge learning curve right. So and and that's not only for me but for my gear. If any of this stuff fails, if I don't like it, if I you know whatever the case may be, I can always swap it out. I can always change it. I can always improve on what I have. Uh, and and master it if you will uh so that's that's the battle belt aspect and portion of it i think moving down a little bit down on the line is um my beretta um holster um i can't for the life of me remember where i picked this one up from um, it was at, um, 
the Gun Expo uh, last year, 20, 2019. I think it was September, uh, which is last year. This right now we're at uh, March uh, twenty twenty. So I think it was yeah, I think it was September time, uh, twenty nineteen. Um, I got it uh for sale. It was on sale. I think there was just a little bit of a clear out. I can't remember how much it was. Uh, you just put your belt loop through here, tie it tight, put your Beretta, and then it has the release so it doesn't doesn't fall out fits nice and snug um yeah and everything worked great for it it's a black hawk by the way too let me see here let me see if i can see it okay here it goes here's the inscription right here it's a cqc holster right and it's from black hawk um if you can see that yeah blackhawk.com let me see here it's cqc holster right close quarter combat um, sorry, close quarter concealment uh, holsters. Um, it's a really good, great um, holster for the Beretta. It's the FS92 uh, A1, if you want to be super specific on that. Uh, you just got to make sure that it, it, you know, if you're looking for a holster, it matches the exact one that you're looking for, right? You don't want to get the wrong one and then have issues returning it or, you know, scratches and they don't take it back and all that stuff. But yeah, so your Beretta so moving down the moving down the way or down the list um, pants you got to make sure you have good quality pants um, this one as well too um, I'll have to put a link in the description below where I got it this one specifically is the the pattern type is called cryptic um, the name kind of rubbed off probably from like sweating and whatnot too uh once again i i take this through its paces i i go paintballing with it i even went um hunting with it a few years back uh with it very warm very tough very durable i've had this for a long long time and it seems to be in great shape still right i do take care of my stuff or try to take care of my stuff and uh and it's paying off right you want to make the investment once with the with with the, the quality um this also has the knee pads right here and there you can actually have them either inside or outside uh these guys come with the knee pads just a f soft mesh or not mesh but like plastic you can see right there right you can add you can have this flap inside and like tucked behind and have the knee pads exposed or you can have it concealed and have it all one piece like that right uh, the great thing about this as well too it has tons of pockets on the side on the front for both legs on the side on the front or on the front on the side has your regular top pockets has your back pockets with the zipper right has your lower leg pocket right over there so it's a really good it's a really good um really good set of pants that has uh adjustments for your leg right you want to tighten it up you got adjustments for your lower leg right you want to adjust it on uh, at your at your um ankles right a good set of pants you should invest in it'll keep you warm um in the, in the cooler climates right in the summer climates yeah you might you might suffer a little bit but a good quality pants is is what you need when when you're out there in the bush or when shit hits the fan um in any type of scenario whatever scenario you might think of this a good set of pants last moving down the list is a good pair of hiking boots or hiking footwear or uh, outback footwear whatever you want to call it a good set of footwear is what you need especially when you're going out there in the bush whatever you once again whatever your scenario is um right this is waterproof very lightweight um i would probably i wouldn't even want to guess i don't want to lie to you guys and say oh it's this it's this much and it weighs this much um i got these actually as a gift um if i'm not mistaken from my mom which was actually a very good investment on her end because i use it i used it a couple times to go hunting uh it worked uh flawlessly it was great um the brand is called Hansen, 
I'm not sure if they make these anymore or if they're still around. Once again, I got this as a gift. So for me, I wouldn't I I don't know much about it, but it, it is a good good brand um or quality for that matter. Uh waterproof leather, warm, light, it's everything you want in a boot to go hiking, camping, hunting, shit hits the fan, a good pair of walking walking boots, if you will, if you're gonna be out there. Uh, for an expen extended period of time, I'll I'll do a little bit more research on it, and I'll um I'll put a link in the description below if anybody wants to check out their their website or their gear, right? It's a nice nice looking nice looking footwear. So that uh, that pretty much concludes pretty much almost from head to toe. Uh, my gear and how I carry it um, as I said I, sh I showed you a picture and I'll probably post a picture again you know the, the different uh, ways that uh, my gear is set up and give you a better perspective a better angle on it uh, for when shit hits the fan for hunting for training um, for camping for anything uh, it's always good to put your gear through its paces so you could understand and use it you don't want to have gear and sit there for forever never being used and then when you use it you don't even know how it's how it works and it breaks or you know something happens to it it's always good to put it through its paces even if it's as silly as going paintballing um right that for me is one of the best ways i put it through its its paces i run dive hit walls go around corners get hit with 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 paintballs whatever and as I said, whatever you ha you see here is pretty much what I go uh, I go with and I train with essentially. Um, some things obviously not like, for example, my Beretta. I don't go with my Beretta in my holster to a paintball field. That's just that's just asking for trouble. But um, I go to the range, right? So I go to the range and I, I put it through its paces there. So once again, you know, if you're looking at anything for gear for that matter, for when shit hits the fan or for a bug out situation, or even a bug in situation, you want to make sure your, your gear is tested out properly, if you will. Uh, as I said, right from the shoes, right to the hat, um, I put it all through its paces. It's worked phenomenally for me. I could upgrade, I could change it. But right now it works great for me. If something breaks, something happens, I might look at different avenues, like I said, with the vest, the vest, I can go with a different avenue with something with a little bit more side protection. Right, but I have no doubts that that vest would be great. Uh, putting a plate carrier in there, a level three um, or three A, um, and, and going and running through its paces. Um, but as I said, this is just a little bit of information on what I do, on what I have. You can customize and change from there, and you know it's all individual. It's all um, personal preference. I, I'm not telling you to change anything. This is just to, for you to gather information and for you to uh, see what you can and what you can't use, right? You might not like the cryptic pants. You might like, you know, the camel pants. You might not like this big, the big shamog. You might want the, the regular um, shamog. You might not like this holster, right? But that's great because now you're looking at it and you're seeing, yeah, you know what? It looks cool, but I don't like it. So this is just to open um, the avenue for a lot of people to uh, look and see and, and see how it works and whatnot too. Uh, I hope that helped you out. Uh, please give it a like um, and I'll definitely post most picture, uh, sorry, videos in, in the future. Once again, I'm sorry for the delay. I haven't been posting anything up right now. We've been busy wedding planning and worrying about this virus going around. It's going to kind of interfere with our wedding and hopefully it doesn't and it kind of, everything goes back to normal soon. Um, right? My, my thoughts and prayers for everybody that's, uh, you know, in this situation and lost their lives or lost a loved one. So, you know, my hearts go out to them. Um, but hopefully everybody's staying safe and everybody's good. Uh, we're over here good. We're in Toronto. Um, so hope everybody's staying safe. And uh, as you could tell, the this whole thing with the toilet paper and all that, that's not the last thing on my list for, for uh, prepping. But um, you already saw a little bit of my video for prepping. Here is the gear that corresponds with a lot of that prep stuff. So I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Hopefully this uh, this helped you um, make decisions and, and, and see what you, you can and can't do with things. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Have a good one.